Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a foundation tag. I saw this on Emily's channel, Beauty Broadcast, and I thought it was a great idea. I love foundations. I have so many foundations. I've tried a ton in my lifetime, and I thought I would share my opinions on things that I like and things that I don't like by doing this foundation tag. So I got the questions here on my phone. And first I wanted to share with you my skin type. I'm pretty normal, I would say. In the summer I get a little bit more oily, in the winter I get a little bit more dry, but I'm generally fairly normal. Um, I do tend to get dry splotches in places sometimes. I get breakouts at times, so it's fairly normal. Essentially what I look for in a foundation is I love medium to full coverage so that if I want to go lighter, I can, but on the days that I feel like I need more coverage, I can build up to it. Um, I love a slight glow. I don't like shimmer at all, but I like it to look like my skin is glowing a little bit. But then again, in the summers when my face is more oily, I need a foundation that will control that. So that being said, I will start with the question. So the first question is, best packaging. Um, I'm going to combine this with another question down below for best travel. So best packaging, best travel is the Chanel Perfection Lumiere. Um, I am in color 40 beige and I love this. It's so compact and tiny and it's plastic so it's not going to break in your, um, in your travel case or anything like that. And it's probably honestly like one of the top five foundations that I have. This is one fluid ounce, so it's standard size, but of course it's Chanel, so it is gonna be more on the expensive side. Best color payoff slash coverage. Um, so without going into one of those really heavy full coverage foundations, I chose the new YSL Fusion Ink Foundation for this question because I feel like a little goes a really long way. That's what I'm wearing today and I am in color BD55. And again, it's a really expensive foundation, but honestly, literally like just a couple of drops on my face, like maybe like a couple on my each cheek, one on my chin, nose, and then a couple on my forehead and I'm done. I don't need to layer this on a lot to get the coverage that I like and that's for like medium coverage you can build it to get fuller coverage but a little goes a long way with this guy most versatile slash buildable so this is the foundation that i've been using probably for the longest it's the mac studio sculpt with spf 15 and i am in nc35 and this is full coverage but you can sheer it out a lot as well if you use a beauty blender um, this is also good for mixing in with a Moisturizer if you want to create like a tinted moisturizer and have really really light coverage So this is my go-to and it's honestly been the one that I've used for the longest years and years and years Biggest regret. So I don't know if I have a real true biggest regret Generally if I don't like a foundation, I will return it. Simple as that um, Sephora has a great return policy if something doesn't work for you just take it back So I generally don't keep foundations um, if I really dislike them. The one that I don't like using is the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation. And this may surprise a lot of you. It just seems to sit on top of my skin rather than really sinking in and blending in with my skin. So I'm just not a fan of the final sort of finish of my skin, how like it looks when I'm looking at it really close up compared to liquid foundations. Best color name slash range. I am going to go with the L'Oreal True Match. It is so easy to pick your shade in this because they label their um, foundations with either, I think, a W for warm and then an N for neutral, and I think they do a C for cool. So you can really pick a good foundation first based on your undertone if you're cool or warm or neutral and then based on the number so it's it's really easy to go into a drugstore i know picking a drugstore foundation is hard sometimes because um a lot of the products are sealed but i think laura did a good job by how they number their products and yeah making it easy to pick and i really like this foundation least used 
So my least used foundation is probably the Hourglass Immaculate. It's the liquid powder, foundation mattifying, and oil-free. I find that I need the most oil control when it's really, really hot outside. And living in Vancouver, that doesn't happen too often. Last but not least, my most used slash most loved foundation has got to be the Urban Decay Naked Skin. It's very buildable, it's very light, but it gives flawless coverage. Every time I use this, people comment on my skin and that I'm glowing and I don't know. I'm honestly, I think this is probably like my fourth bottle that I've gone through and I just ordered another one because I'm almost done this. So this is definitely the top favorite foundation for me. Um, I don't think it's too crazy expensive. I mean, it's not as crazy as like Chanel or YSL, but of course it's not a drugstore either. So it's like a mid-range product and I really like it. All right, well that is all that I have to share with you for the foundation tag. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it helped out. If you would like to do this, please do so and um, leave me a comment down below if you've done a video and I'll go watch and we can share our love of foundations <laughs> together. Thank you so much guys for watching and being patient with my lack of posting videos. I really do appreciate it and I will see you guys all very soon. Thanks, bye.